and welcome. My name is Stanley Chan and I am a Solutions Architect at Idero. This short video will talk about how Team Server can help you with data governance. There are many different parts to data governance. One of these parts is that across the enterprise, you want to share a common understanding of business terms. My definition of a customer will be your, different from your definition, but ultimately they mean the same thing. Team Server has the ability to help you define all of your business glossaries and business terms so that you can start consolidating them and have that one true enterprise business glossary in terms that can be used everywhere. What I'm going to show you is how to use Team Server to define your business glossaries and terms and then tie them back to your data models. Here's Team Server. From here we have the glossaries tab. You can see here that I've have defined a few glossaries already. A glossary is a collection of business terms that are related or perhaps have the same function. Here we'll take a look at the sales term. I'll click on edit so you get an idea of what you can put here. You have your name. We have a parent glossary which allows you to have a hierarchy. So if you have some business terms that are the same across the enterprise then you may want to set a parent glossary here. You have the status. You have the definition and you have the abbreviations and alias and synonyms. You'll notice here that I have owners and metrics. These are custom attributes or custom categories that you can add to glossaries to help you define them better. And then down below we have the additional notes. Off to the left we have the stream, which is an audit trail of what has changed with the glossary. We have the term section, this shows you all the terms that we have in this specific glossary. I'll click on a specific glossary here and give you some details about that business term. I'll click on edit again to give you an idea of what you can do here. You have your name, the term type, status, definition, abbreviations, and then aliases and synonyms. You notice here that again I have custom attributes, lifecycle, and metrics. These again are custom attributes that I can add to terms to help define them better. Notice that they're a little bit different than what I had from the glossaries. And then down below again we have our additional notes. Off to the left we have a discussions tab which is the collaboration piece in Team Server. This allows you to start topics about objects, terms in this case. You can discuss how a term should be changed or perhaps how it's being used. You can follow an object up on the top right hand corner so that if there are any changes you'll be notified about the changes in your stream. Off to the left you can see who's following an object. You can relate this term to other glossaries so if this term is used in other departments or if you finally decided on a common definition to a term you can relate this to another glossary. You can relate terms to other terms. So for example if you there are a few terms that are similar but right now are used differently then you can relate these terms together. As you work on these and use them, you can decide which ones to get rid of, how to merge them together, so that you have that one term. Lastly here you can relate your terms to ER objects, which are your data model objects. Here you can see that this customer term is related to a few entities and down below a few attributes. You can see which object type they are, so we have entities and attributes. You can see which data model file it's tied to and then which model within that data model file. And then some of these you also have the technical definition that we're taking from Data Architect. If you click on one of these you'll get some more details about that object. So here again you have the diagram name, the model, and then the object itself. And then you have the de details from Data Architect. We can relate terms to entity objects uh, or your ER objects. So you don't have to do it from the term side. You can do it from the ER object side. So this is how you define business glossaries and terms in Team Server. Initially, you'll probably have a separate glossary and term for each of your projects you're working on. But as time goes on, hopefully with this, you'll be able to consolidate your terms to be able to create an enterprise business glossaries with terms that can be used in any situation. For more information, here's a link to our website. 
and thank you very much.